Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and it's nice to be with you today. Today I'm making a quilt block right here, red and white, really pretty block. And what I did is I took this old quilt block, I don't know the name and I don't know who made it, but I have this in my stash and I thought it was pretty, so I thought, you know what, let's work on this quilt block, figure out how it was made, and I'm gonna share it with you. So let's get started. So I began with some two and a half inch strips and here's my fabric, my red and my grayish white fabric. And I'm going to cut eight two and a half inch squares from the red and eight two and a half inch squares from the gray. I will also need four two and a half by four and a half inch strips from each up uh, the red and the gray. Last thing I need are two squares from each of my colors that are four and a half inches. I'm going to start in the center of my block and the first thing to make is a simple four patch using two of the red squares and two of the gray squares. The next element of our, the quilt block is I need to make four of these pieces, a red and a gray bar, and then I'm going to put the opposite color on each of the bottom sections of those little strips, and I'm going to need to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner, starting in the middle center. And so I'm gonna draw with a pencil, and I'm going to sew right along that line. So I'll be making two just like this, and then when I make the other two, I need to swap the um, directions of these little squares. So here I'm gonna just sew right across that pencil line, and then I'm going to go back and go about a half inch away from my seam, and I'm going to sew another seam so that I'll have some leftover half square triangles when I'm all done with my quilt block. I'm pressing towards the red fabric, the darker fabric, and so when I go to put these two pieces together, they're going to um, nestle together really well. The seams will be going opposite directions so that it'll that seam will match up really nicely. Now I need to make another piece just like this one using a red and a white bar or strip. And as you can see, I laid it on the right there and it, that's not the way we want it to go. We need to um, alternate the colors when I get over to the right and the left side. So here I'm working on the piece that's gonna go on the top and it's exactly like the piece on the bottom. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to make two more pieces that are really exactly like the other ones except the colors are switched. So I just need to make sure that that four patch um, red square is lined up with a white four and a half by two and a half inch strip. Then I added my squares again to each end of these little strips. I drew my lines aiming for the place where they join and I sewed along the pencil line, made my extra half square triangles and I made one more of those and then I moved on to the next element of this quilt block. This last step to this quilt block is really easy. I took my two reds and my two gray squares and I made sure that the gray squares were next to the red strips and the white squares were next to the red strips. And then I added the opposite color square to each of the outside corners. I sewed from corner to corner. And again, I made my extra half square triangle so when I was done, I had 12 little leftover half square triangles to use in another project in the future. I cut through the middle of those um, two seams. I pressed and then I'm almost ready to put this whole block together. This red and gray quilt block is just so pretty. And if any of you know the name of this quilt block, let me know. I searched and searched through all my books. I could not find it, which makes me think it's a newer block, but I don't know, you just never know. Let me know if you um, have seen this block before. After I finished, I pressed all my little leftover half square triangles. They're ready for another quilt block in my future. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.